I consider myself a veteran, I think, because I take a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. and inside, outside the game, and I don't feel like pressure or anything since I've played the game for quite long. And yeah, I, I would not, not say I'm a rookie. I would not say so. And there we get killed again with no vision from absolutely nowhere because Zoe is a balanced champion. Thank you, Riot Games. Thank you for this amazing champion. This Brain effect mood helps your serotonin levels and makes you feel more relaxed. Huh. Ah, and we lose Baron because our jungler missed smite, but you know what? That's okay. We all make mistakes. And um, yeah, next game will be better, I'm sure. Hello everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller, joined here by Kirei from Misfits, who just played his very first LEC game. Does it feel amazing to get that first W as well? Yeah, definitely. Like, first game, first win is definitely nice. Better than lose. <laughs> yeah, sure. for sure. And you also had some highlight plays with that uh, level 1 smite duel, uh, but also, you know, just dominating mm -hmm. pretty much the entire game. Yeah, I mean, after level 1, I had the lead and it's up to me to snowball and I snowballed and game boom. <laughs> That's what happened. That's pretty much it. Um, so what was the decision making like coming into this week with uh, Misfit saying, hey, we want to swap things out, out. Uh, you're, you're getting in, you're getting your play time, when were you informed uh, and what was the, the process internally like? Mm, I think I was informed two or three days before playing, mm -hmm. then I played like total eight games. I mean, the day before the scrims got cancelled, so I couldn't play sadly. Mm -hmm. So yeah, then I just started playing scrims and then I played the Fisher game and Misfit's plans to use I was obviously active in roster, and if they think someone's like suitable that can like do well, then they give them chances. And then for the playoffs run, then it's like more scary to play against more opponents, whereas like same game gameplay, you know. Yeah. So that's the main reason, I guess, just different versatile playstyles. And also like giving you some some stage time so you can perform better in a case you get subbed in at playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If you guys do reach playoffs, <laughs> okay. <laughs> reach playoffs, of course. Yeah. 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 You're in our last split. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. If you do reach playoffs. Um, so you also you you joined the team in the offseason, unlike every other uh, Misfits premier member at the time. Um, how did you get in contact with Misfits? How did you get picked up? I mean, um, yeah, it was just I could I was allowed to talk to other teams because I wasn't as happy in Turkey because the competition was kind of questionable, I'd mm -hmm. say. And I just need a challenge. I enjoy league a lot, but I need competition. You know, if not, then it's pointless to play. So then I was looking for options and Mrs. One, one of those that seemed to best for me. And yeah, then I joined Mrs. in offseason and here I am. <laughs> here you are, a very good decision for sure. And you obviously uh, had spent uh, about a year already in Turkey and with, with the recent success of Fenerbahce, a lot of people were surprised that um, you would leave and the team kind of broke up in a way. Mm -hmm. um, overall though, did you have a positive uh, experience playing in Turkey? Oh no, for sure, all the players were really friendly and I enjoyed a lot playing with them. Time went by really fast, it's just the competition that I just didn't enjoy. So mm -hmm. yeah, overall it was nice, I'd say. So joining a, a well, major league in this case, g coming from a minor region to, to a major league, uh, what are your personal goals, uh, what do you want to achieve in this league? I mean, my personal goal would be definitely to win the ALC, or like LEC, I, a LEC, I guess, Very good, and of yeah. course go to Worlds, there's no other goal. I want to be the first one to win Worlds and yeah, I have to be playing LEC, so <laughs> in order to make it happen, it's not possible in wildcard regions, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I mean, possible, but... <laughs> I think the chances are lower than winning a lottery. I mean, uh, let's put it like this, so far no LEC team has won Worlds, but an LEC team has won um, MSI, of course. Was that one of the reasons why you also uh, joined Misfits? No, I think last year I was in Korea, I was watching from Incheon the rules. Mm. So I was like really pumped to yeah, to get there and play there myself. That's the motivation basically. Okay, that was kind of the, the point. Um, now obviously you, you've, you have been part of the uh, League of Legends esports scene for, for quite a while uh, with some players even making some, some memes here and there. Yeah. But um, you, you know you had your son in LCS, you played in, in various regions, you played in the French regional leagues. Mm -hmm. um, do, should you even be considered a, a rookie at this point or do you consider yourself a veteran? I consider myself a veteran, I think, because I take a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. and inside, outside the game, and I don't feel like pressure or anything since I've played the game for quite long. And yeah, I, I would not say I'm a rookie. I would not <laughs> say so. Uh, do you think that th this kind of experience also benefits you now in your, your current situation and, and meshing well and being able to pl be plug and play when subbed in? I mean, yeah, like if you play with like 
usually players are worse than you. You need to like take care of them more and you know what you have to do for them. And if you know their roles and your own role and you know to, how to communicate things, then it makes things a lot easier. It doesn't matter who you play with. It's not like if a player would be changed that I can't play with him. I can play with anyone. Of course, you do get to play with some some legends like Soaz and Gorilla and even uh, Forbidden to an extent. Um, d did that put any extra pressure on you or were you like, ah, that's all good, I know these guys? I mean, not really since if you meet the players and you get friendly with them, they're just like any other human being, you know? <laughs> it's just, even if it's a faker, I wouldn't be like, whoa, you know, it just... Maybe, maybe for a few days, I mean, it's faker. Yeah, I mean, I don't think so, but okay. <laughs> I don't get like amazed fast, so. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, what would you say in regards to like the, the public perception you have though? Um, do, do you want to now also uh, change the, the public persona you have? Mm, what's my public persona like? Like the, the way that, you know, people view you as a player, because you know, you have yeah, spent yeah. a lot of time in, in minor leagues and now you're finally stepping up on the, on the major league. Mm -hmm. I mean, usually in minor leagues, there are some issues that maybe some other places as well that are, Sometimes you can't do much about it, mm -hmm. and if you lose, you look bad, especially like for me, someone that gets rank one always. I just look worse automatically because I'm supposed to be the best. But with like the main team and the staff, like I think people can judge correctly and how I play, and there's not like anyone like wants to rage quit or doesn't want to play or chokes, you know? So yeah, I think people just have wrong impression, but yeah, I know I'll do really good. That's good to know, and of course, it's it's very difficult for jungler in particular to, to shine when your team doesn't perform. Yeah, I would say so. If yeah, like it's it's probably the least forgiving role. Maybe next to support, but like th those roles are pretty difficult to deal with. Anything though, you would like to say to the Misfits fans and the LEC fans, being very happy with your first game, of course. I mean, thanks for watching this video first of all, <laughs> and I hope you support me. And beside that, um, yeah, have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. And the hashtag for this interview is uh, hashtag a Chinese jungler, guys. Exactly. Yeah. If you watch until the end, you know the hashtag ain't Chinese jungler. Thank you so much, Kirei, for your time. Best of luck in the upcoming games, of course. And uh, yeah, this was day one of week two of LEC. And I hope you guys tune in next time as well. This was Darius from the Shot Call. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. We'd especially like to thank Krzysztof Bujnovic, Thomas Göttel, Etienne, Erich Althaus, Lukas Legal, Lazy Raven, Lama Vyuta and Adam Novosviat for your very special support and of course also all the people whose names you see scrolling past you without you guys we would have closed down probably a while ago so thank you so much for your help thank you